deserve to know everything that concerns me. I want to be a fulfilled man, Papa. And I want to know my roots. If you have grown up to be a man, I will tell you everything that happened. I will tell you those that happened before me. And those that happened during my time. And those that were reported to me. These quarrels that you're having with your wife, and they are getting out of hand. I called you here to find out why you look down on a woman who has borne you three beautiful daughters. Brother, that is the problem I have with her. First, it was 13 good years of barrenness. And when she eventually started giving birth, it is all girls. So what is wrong with girls? Yes. I mean, what is wrong with girls? Now tell me, have you once knelt down to say, God, thank you for giving me these children? Have you? Don't you know that it is this same God who gave you girls who will one day give you boys? I don't want girls. I want a son. And as long as she is not ready to give me a son, then she is not the woman I need. Still doing here. I said I don't want to see you. What are you doing in my house for Christ's sake? Guru, why are you allowing Satan to come into this marriage and own everything? Listen to why? me. Fat, why? you are the Satan in human incarnation. Jesus. You are an embodiment of dissolution. You are an inspired piece of shit. You are leaving my house today. Please. Take that your hand off me. You embodiment of nothing. For seven years, I lived with you. Seven years into our marriage. Nothing to show for it. Not even Aki. Not to talk of Papa. You only sit down in my house. Eat up. Go to the toilet. That's all you know. You are leaving my house today. Do not hate me so much that you call me names. In fact, what am I sitting with you? Pokora, <laughs> 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 please! Pokora, <laughs> please, In please, fact, what do you want me to go do? Go in and take whatever you think that belongs to you. We do want to go, please. You are a wish. <laughs> I don't want to live with a wish. I now know they sent you to destroy me. Go and tell them that it will not work. It will not work. Idiot. God. God, is it my fault? Is it my fault? Why me? Okoro, you don't want me, and I also don't want you. Go to hell and burn to ashes. Okoro is history, and I must face my life.
You have restored happiness to my dark world. And I now feel that forever I am indebted to you. You are the best cook. You mean you specifically cook this for me? Of course. You've actually proved to be the exact kind of man I needed. You know and what? I've decided to shower you with love. <laughs> you know what, isn't it? No. I've also made up my mind to love you. Yes. I have a wife at home. But you are a breed far above whatever she represents. Yes. Look, you are so caring, loving, and extremely committed. <laughs> I will love you to the end. I love you too. I like the way you talk. <laughs> Just eat your food. We have all the time to talk. <laughs> so good, you're so sweet. So wonderful. <laughs> 11 o'clock in the night and the man with responsibility is still roaming the streets. Not on bed, you breeder of female species. Girls, you, Utaka, why are you referring to these kids as if they are not human beings? They are your children. Do they have any share in the family? Why are you deceiving yourself? What am I going to do with them? Look, if you value your stay in this house. You better start thinking of how to breed and give me a male child. And you must be fast about it. You breed off. Sh should I serve you here or inside? You don't know how to cook. So don't serve me anywhere. I'm not here for drinks. The message is that I should meet you here this morning and I want to know what the problem is. Men of all ages agree that there is sweetness in the waist of all women. But the wise men will tell you that beneath that waste lies death. I have called you here to educate you on the contrast. You are talking in parables. And I don't know where you are coming from. You have a family. I want you to concentrate on your family. Yes. Your romance well, that woman who lives at the end of the road has been reported to me and I don't feel comfortable about it. Do you mean to say that you don't have any work anymore? Why are you monitoring me? What is your business with where I enter? My brother, as I said before, beneath the waist of a woman lies death. 
So be careful what you do. And don't make the mistake that other men have made. Well, thank you very much for the many advice. But to be sincere, I don't need such advice. Are you working out on me? Yes, of course. It has become clear that you, we don't reason alike. And I don't have to sit down here and continue listening to you. Udaka. 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 You said your husband threw you out. Yes. And I ask, why did you two go back to your parents? My parents are lit. I'm a woman. I know I can always get up for myself. I have this uncle who is generally believed as one who killed my parents, and I didn't want to go back to him. I was just hoping that one day I will meet another man. And I'm happy you came on board the time you did. <laughs> you know, you have a way you conned your words. And that makes me very happy. I wonder why a man will see a woman like you and desire another. You're starting your flatteries again. No, I'm not flattering you. I'm telling you the truth. I told you I felt dizzy all through the day. Oh, well, you never cared to ask me why. Well, I didn't ask you because it rained throughout the day. And uh, wetness of the weather might have been the cause. No, you are wrong. The way I feel has nothing to do with the weather. Then you tell me what might have been the cause. Because you know, I am not an expert in human chemistry. Pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah. Then how is that my business? Why are you talking like this? You are the one responsible. You've been able to do what Okuro could not do for seven years. Yet he called me names. He used me and dumped me. I have the feeling you are trying to flatter me into accepting what is not popular. You, you know, different men have been coming to, to stay with you. Me? You. Why are you? How can you single me out and say that I am responsible for your pregnancy? You are accusing me of messing around with me. But that's not fair. I'm not imposing this pregnancy on you. You are the one responsible. I refuse to accept any pregnancy from a woman who proved to be available for all. Go and dress the man who scored a strange goal. Certainly not me. And I will never be the one. Where are you going, Yutaka? <laughs> you can't abandon me at this stage, please. <laughs> Please. Look, don't call my name again. <laughs> you know you're responsible. Look, I, I like you like a woman. And I come to you to have fun. That is what I want. You are not going to hook me with this rubbish. I swear, it's not because that you are my brother. It's not that you are my brother. I would have destroyed that you are baby covered mouth. You used to gossip around the village. Who is pregnant and who is not pregnant? Can you imagine that? It is high time you realize that men don't gossip. Well, the pregnancy is matured. As in very matured. Uh, and very soon you will realize that you not gossip. Eh, uh, but that, that's just what I came to tell you. So do something, oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, come in. What? What are you doing here? Anything wrong in an old friend coming to see a child? See the child and leave immediately. <clears throat> hey, isn't it? You are right. This child is a carbon copy of my father. And this is the male child I have been looking for all these years. In fact, I don't have time for a heartless man like you. Leave this apartment and don't come back. I'm sorry, Azini. Why are you sounding like this? Why are you calling me heartless? I'm calling you heartless because that's what you are. You rushed up here to see the child because they must have told you it's a male child. Would you have come if I had delivered a girl child? Please, Azini. Temper justice with mercy. I'm not, I don't know what come over my head. I, I shouldn't have treated you the way I did. Please, forgive me. I will pay you for all the time that I was away. I have come back to my responsibility. Yes. Come in. Well, well, well. May I know? What you are doing here? Uh, Mr. Man, you can see your welcome has expired. This is the door. You cannot go through it because I want to have a word with my wife. Who are you? To barge into my apartment and give orders to my guests? And who exactly do you call your wife? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> uh, you know, men can do some silly things, you know, after that reception. You see, you see the ring, I'm still putting it on. You are still my wife. So why don't you pack, let's get home. You must be the clan of the century to so imagine I could go home with you. Now, look at my lips. It is over between us. No, isn't it? No. The bride price I paid on your head is still not refunded to me. So you are still my wife. Why don't you tell this fool to go away from here so that I pick you and my son will go home? Listen, listen. If you are here because of the male child that God has given to me, know you that you are wasting your time. I don't have time for you. Isn't it? You are wrong. The truth is that I own you. Even everything you have, even the time you think I'm wasting on you, I own everything. So why don't we go, please? Listen, I want to end this drama here and now. You are not the father of this child. This man here is the father of this child. So I expect you to develop wings and fly off immediately. So you are the idiot that has been cultivating in my garden. One thing I will assert here is that I'm not a troublemaker. If your stress is the price price you paid on her, then relax. I will pay you ten times over. But the boy is mine. You are telling me to my face that you've been sleeping with somebody's wife. And you are not ashamed? Watch your tongue. Or you do what? You idiotic gigolo of no class and foundation. You go fighting over a woman. Eh, brother? Uh, I know I told you about it. But I didn't say you should go fight. Ha! In fact, you won't understand. I did not fight over his name. 
Ezine is an idiot. Tomorrow she's an idiot. Forever she will remain an idiot. Uh, I only fought for my son. Eh? Brother, can you listen to yourself? Over who? Over your son. How on this earth do you think is possible? That a ghost called by Onkota will be accredited to Ronaldo. Is it possible? Hmm. Eh, brother? Okay. It's not oh, you are a complete idiot. Yes. In fact, you are a green snake in the green grass. I thought you were my brother. Ha! Look, be very careful, oh. brother. Is it because I told you that? Get locked with the truth. Don't you know the tradition of our people? Don't you know that when, every, when a man marries a woman, he owns everything, including the child. Eh? Don't you know that whatever is planted in a land belongs to the owner of the land? Eh? In fact, get rid of me now. Eh? Brother, Shh. Don't ever come to me again. Get out. Brother, don't go. Get out! And never you come back here again. You can brother. Obiageli. Obiageli. Why are you looking wounded? Oh, because his uh, concubine gave him a male child. Look, that child has no inheritance in this family. Don't worry yourself about it. Ichendulu, you are the only one saying this. You are the only one saying this because you understand the way I feel. All the members of the family are happy. They are happy because he finally has a male child from somewhere. And as he stands, they may push me and my daughters out of this family. Out of this family. No. No. You seem to have forgotten that I am the head. I am the current head of this family. And I have no intention on looking down on the legitimate children, girls, that you have given this family. And what is the meaning of this? And where are you going with that woman? Don't you call her that woman. She is my wife, the mother of my son. And she has come here to stay. Utaka. Utaka, how could you? How could you bring another woman into this house? Into your matrimonial home? Don't you ever think you are in the same category with her? Because she is able to give me what you are not able to give me. And you should come on your face and shit. Utaka! Utaka! Mr. Ageli. Always remember that I stand with you. He has not paid any bright price on that woman. Let her have as many male children as she wants. They have no family. I tell you that. You have to know that you are my son and you have all the rights of ever not to people. What, what, what are you doing to my, to my father? I said, what are you doing to my father? Okay, sister. Father, mm -hmm. go and locate your family. You don't belong here. Why are you always looking for trouble? He is not your father. Our father did not pay a kobo as bride price on your mother. So you leave. Please, your ladies, please, you should stop this. Look, Papa needs attention. Get out. 
that my brother is your father oh. anyway you are leaving this village tonight because you are no longer welcome here well, you are doing this to me because because of my parents are dead eh? he was the only reason we tolerated you all this while yeah. now that he's dead the bond is dead so leave leave, leave. Why, why are you showing me this kind of wickedness now you are the one that is wicked eh? when, when papa was alive papa accepted me as his son is it because then now you people are saying I don't belong here anymore? I will tell you, you have no inheritance in this family. And as the head, I banish you. You can go anywhere you like. Settle anywhere, but not here. Never. No, I'm, I'm not get going out. anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. So wicked. Why have they banished you? Wait, it, it, it's, it's raining. Look, I don't know why they've done what they've done, but no problem. God is in control. No problem. Listen, just come to my house. Just come and sleep with me. When we, in the morning, we can sort everything out, please. It's, it's raining. Oh, son, you have proven to me to be the only friend I have in this village. I just have to go. God is in control. I'll make it. Oh, yeah. Osondo, I don't want to inconvenience you. Listen. Why, why not? Why are you going? Where the where the walk are they go? Come, let's go sleep on my house. My word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh Lord, be mindful life. It's your will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh Lord, be mindful life. What can I do for you? Uh, good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking for, for this job. This job? Yes. I cannot give you the job. You know why I cannot give you this job? What I want is a house that I does not need any house boy. I need a house help. Um, uh, it says house help. I, 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 I want the job. But you are not a house help. What I want is a house car, and that car must be fine. And the girl must be able to cook a dick, I can have and soup. But you cannot do that, young man. I can do all these things, all these things. You I doing. cannot give you this job. I need a house, not a house boy. He does not understand. That is what I want you to understand. Thank you.
Encountering some problems now, so I need a job so I can feed. I saw your signpost outside that says house help needed. So I, I, I came to apply for the job now. I can do any and everything. Praise me to our family. Um, I'm thinking that we should make it possible for him to go back to school. At least to round up his uh, degree program. And such promising young man should not be allowed to end up as a domestic staff in any family. You know what? Your views have always been respected very highly. And um, if that is your desire, you might as well make him a promise. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Hey, 
Thanks, Dad. Mama. Mm -hmm. Trying to stab up trouble. I will, I'll call you. I'll call you um, later tonight. Love you, Dad. It's only your dad that you love. Oh, you love your always mom. Bye. The meeting we have with the expert we hired to run the palm plantation will be tomorrow morning. I want us to streamline things before we know what we can tell him. What we're going to tell him is very simple. Let him fashion out a way of transforming the plantation into a profit-making business. He's an expert and that's why we hired him. So let him sort it out. No. It is not for him to fashion out the way to run it. It is for us to say what we want. Um, well, if you ask me, I think we should... We should give him a free hand to run the business. You know, most of those managers often feel pissed off, you know, disgusted when they think that business owners are trying to dictate to them or trying to interfere in their management decisions or, you know, all that. I think... We should allow him run it his way. I think it's the best thing to do. Because, I mean, that way he will see the company as his own. And in the long run, it will all only favor us. I think I agree with her. The business will thrive well if the expert we hired will handle things without unnecessary interference. True. That's why we hired him. We wouldn't have been able to run that company. <laughs> exactly. Okay. If you say so. Give me. Have you forgotten that that day that you come here, I was the one that interviewed you when your eyes were doing that, is were doing that, is were doing that, is I was looking at you. Today you want to tell me that you are the okay? Okay. Why are you always looking for trouble? Are you trying to call a world or call a panoro that I'm a troublemaker? Is it because of those small, small arm robbers that n does not even have any con? It's just that they have firewood that you pursue. Somebody will no longer hear anything for you in this compound. Okay. I know my duties in this compound and I'm doing them. Define your own duties and concentrate on them, please. So you want to fight me? You want to fight the corner panudo? Eh? You want to fight me? What is that name for? Uh, madam, nothing. We are just talking from the psycho spiritual angle. Do you think you are talking to an idiot? I saw you take the biscuit doctor out of his hand and you are telling me rubbish. What is going on here? Madam, this boy is trying to prove stubborn. The boy, he forgot that I'm that day that he come. I was the one that opened that car and he was doing like this, he was doing like this. Today, he want to tell me that he's the car of this place. Since when did you start defining hierarchical status in this compound? And who the hell are you to tell anyone that you're not able? Eh? Madam, as I'm looking at this boy from the second screen angle, the guy, he just come like this. Whoop! He want to build your car of this place. Now, shut up. You were employed in this compound as a gate man and a housekeeper. And you must restrict yourself specifically to those areas. Eric is here for a different purpose. And he's far more educated than you. And he has proven himself more competent. If I ever catch you disturbing the peace of this young man in this compound, you won't like what I'll do to you. When I do Kadami, I see my Royzon. Kadami, I see my... Hello, girl. Hi, girlies. <laughs> you look so hot. Look at you looking so green, green. Ah, land is green. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Why you not come back like you promised? My oh, dear, you know now. Yeah, those ladies are bad. No, <laughs> God forbid. You know what? I nothing is happening, so I think like I just chill small. What's happening? You don't okay. shop all day. Saturday. What are you still doing here? Madam, I just brought your luggage. You drop that thing and get out. Um, can I do anything for you before I go, ma? Idiot. Thank you. So, girl, what's another guy that saved you? Why are you being so rude to him? Well, the guy that nearly cost me my life with his reckless driving. Huh? 
That guy is so annoying. Where are you going to? Mercy! Mercy! Uh, is she calling me? No, no. Actually, I came to apologize over what she said to you inside. Uh, please don't take it to heart. You know, she's a woman and women are always very difficult. I just don't know why she just hates me. I, I, I don't know what to do. Please, be a man. Don't break down, okay? You know, um, you're brave to have squared up to those rapists and bandits. And I like brave guys. Yeah. I think I like you. Well, I like you too. You're a nice person. I like you. I have to be on my way now. Alright. Take care of yourself. Hey, 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 hey! My keys! Uh, Madam, how do I go back home now? It's a stupid question. Trek home! What are those sticks down there for? Um, but how can I trek home? Uh, uh, home is 12 kilometers away. Alicia, how could you be so heartless? How could you unleash such level of wickedness to a guy that breaks his life just to save yours? Tell me how I should treat my household. Alicia, just give him back the keys. What? And who gave you the right to tell me what to do and how to handle my affairs? Do you expect this guy to trek? 12 kilometers back home, and he had better start doing that now before he gets late. I'm sure in his village he does more miles than that. And look, let this be the last time you ever tell me what to do and what not to do. Excuse me. Alicia, please. Don't be upset, okay? I can, I can manage this. Um, thank you very much. Um, you're such a pillar of support. Thank you. Alicia. Let's face facts here. You're not treating a young man as a friend. Your attitude towards him is so not fair. Did you say friend? My houseboy. <laughs> I hope your body is not beginning to call for him. Stay away from him. I'm not going to stay away from him. If you know that he wants to start, you better start it now. And if you think I'm going to let you seduce that guy, you must have another thing coming. He is my house boy. I can smell jealousy. I'm not going to stay away from him. My dear, I don't have time for nonsense. <laughs> For me to say I love you because of the level of risk you can take for a woman. But that might not be the ultimate reason. I love you because of the level of risk you can take for a woman. A man like you, I shot supply. I must say the same for you likewise. Women like you are short of supply. I mean, it takes a lot of gods and civilization for a woman to walk up to a man she fancies. And I do feel honored having you. Alicia is upset we're seeing each other. Are you serious? Yeah, but don't let that bother you. Alicia is my friend, I can handle her. Why? I mean, she should be happy. I mean, her mother said I should feel very free in the house. So, she should be happy I have a mother now. Eric. Yes? I want you to be honest with me. Do you have any problems with Alicia? No, not at all. Never. Never. But she made it very clear to me that she didn't like me from the very first day. 
Anyway, don't let that bother you, okay? It's your birthday, so let's celebrate it. Mercy. Do you know what you're here to do at all? She's just a friend who appreciates me. It's only natural for me to appreciate her back. It's not in my nature to turn down people. Now you shut up. God, you are so irritatingly despicable. What, what, the, what was that? Now you get out of my sight. to see it that way. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't love me. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for the way I treated you in the past. But I love you. But I... No, but... Just give me a chance to make amends for the wrong I did to you. Just that I you don't want Alicia coming in here to discover you're playing a double one on her. What? You think I didn't know what's been going on between you both? Please. I actually came here to wish you love and happiness in your newly found relationship. Alicia is a good girl. Please take it easy with her. And please. Please, don't do anything to hurt her. Um, um, where, where are you going? Um, look, um, please, 
Mer Mercy, whatever it is you, you thought that was happening is not... She offered you a wristwatch. She told you I was gone. And she expressed love for you. You were still surprised. And she kissed you. And she told you all this. Listen, I want you to understand that Alicia loves you. And as for me, I'm already in a relationship. And I intend to stick to my man. I want you to look closely to Alicia's face. And you will discover how much she loves you. I'll see you guys later. The ideal thing for me to say I love you because of the level of risk you can take for a woman. But that might not be the ultimate reason. A man like you, I shot surprise. I must say the same for you likewise. You're thinking of mercy, right? Huh? I am here to fill the gap for you. Huh? I know it started slowly, but we can take it to whatever level we want to. Believe me when I said you're unique. I love you so much. Slowly. But we can take it to whatever level we want to. Believe me when I said you were me. I don't know what your problem is. But I think your father is happy with what he has managed to achieve. And that is why he wants Eric to go to Katna and manage the branch office there. That's the point, Mom. I do not want Eric to go anywhere. Why? Alicia, don't you think you're, you're taking this threat to another level? On the contrary, Mom, I do not hate him. Tell Daddy to, to tell this old manager to go manage his company, Kaduna. What has come over you, Alicia? Are you questioning your father's decision? I'm sorry, Mom, but I cannot let Eric leave my sight. Are you the one talking? I just realized I love him dearly. And I will be unhappy if he leaves me now. Don't tell me you are developing interest on Eric. Don't. I'm pregnant for him. You are what? How could you be so carefree? I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know how it happened. I really... I...
Can we see in my office for a while? Tell me whatever you want to tell me, her doctor. Okay. She was delivered of a bouncing baby kid. Oh, praise God! God! Yes! Yes! Can I see her now? Uh, you can't see her right now. Why? Mm. Please. Doctor, talk to me. Why? Huh? Calm down, please. Uh, it's, it is, it's very hard to say, but I have to. Let you know that. Thank you. Speak up, what happened? Huh? What happened? We tried our best. Huh? Oh my God. We did our best. What? Talk to me, what's going on? We tried all we could. We lost you can't move. You can't move. Doctor, doctor. 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 Doctor, we did our best. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, my mom knows you're here now, so she'll be with you shortly. In the meantime, can I offer you anything? A drink, maybe? Amanda, I am not here for drinks. I need to see your mother, and it's very urgent. Okay? Okay. Alright. She'll be with you shortly then. It's okay. Good afternoon, madam. Thank you. What did you say happened? We received some visitors from the Ministry of Works yesterday. Ministry of Works? Yes. What did they come to do? Because Ministry of Works has no business with palm plantation. They came for a different reason entirely, and I am not comfortable with what they said. What did they say? Contract has been awarded for the construction of a dam in Ebenato, and they say that the plantation will have to go. Are you sure? Madam, I cannot just come here to say such a thing. They said we should get ready to be demolished. Are you sure our enemies are not at work here? How can they even think of demolishing a plantation that is yielding a turnover of over a hundred million naira? We have to make a move. And they are very, very serious about the dam. We need to counter them with superior moves, madam. Hello, good afternoon, sister. The Ministry of Works wants to destroy our palm plantation. What? Who told you that? I'm telling you what Mr. Bright just told me. He said they came to the plantation yesterday and that's what they told him. Oh my God, this is serious. What are we supposed to do about it? Nothing more than fight back. I want you to come over to the house immediately. We need to move faster before they fell all our palm trees. Okay, I'm on my way right away. I'll be home in a little bit. Okay? All right, bye. Listen to me, Chief Abbas. We all have our interests. I want us to be civilized enough to respect each other's interests. Well, madam, I don't have any other interest apart from carrying out the contract that I won. You may go around the state and verify. I have a track record. Whatever I am asked to do, I do to the very best of my ability. Are you aware that the place you are planning to clear for the town is a functional palm plantation that gives us serious profit? Why do you want to destroy our family business? Why? Madam, there is a way you are twisting this issue as if I was the one that shows the project. This is the project of the Ministry of Works. And they decided on the very side they want. 
mine is simply to execute the contract. I'm sorry, Chief Abbasi. We've gone to the ministry, and they say that it's a contractor that influenced their choice of side. Don't mind him. Why are you bent on destroying our family business? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. Let me tell you right away. I run a thriving company, a going concern. Okay? If I should set the dam in the site you are defending, it is going to cost me less. It simply means I am going to make more profit. Just listen to yourself. Did you listen to yourself, Chief? Huh? You want to destroy the best palm plantation in the state because of profit. Personal profit. Hmm. Personal profit. Well, madam, you are lucky that we have a responsible government in place. And I can tell you right away that your family will be heavily compensated. I put it to you right here and now. We don't want any compensation. Take your damn to another place. We don't want it here. Are you in my guest lodge giving me orders or what? Call it whatever you want. I don't care. I just want to warn you. Don't start what you cannot finish. If you tamper with that plantation, I can assure you, I'm going to give you the woman in me. I will show you the woman in me. You know what, madam? Your dress are absolutely business. Uh, maybe you are into this business of intimidating people. You cannot intimidate this person. Do you hear that? Let us go. It's just as simple as that. Let us go. Let us leave. You, you cannot intimidate this man here. Maybe that is. Go and fight it. Maybe that is your stock in thread. No. Go and start it. Go, 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 go and do it. Are you serious? Go, 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 go and do it. If I know you are these colors, I wouldn't have allowed you here. I, I am going to deal with that man. I will so deal with him, eh? <laughs> oh. He was the one that influenced government to cite that dam. Where our plantation is domiciled. I will show him that I am not the kind of woman that they can push around. I'm going to deal with him. I will so deal with him, eh? Kiru. Okay. Sister God, the man is not here. We don't need to shout. All we need to do is to articulate on what next to do. Kiru, you don't need to bother yourself. Save your breath. But I know what I'm going to do. Don't so, worry. I was thinking of going to see the Minister of Works before he send his bulldozers to come bulldozers our land. Hmm. Hey, hey. I will deal with him. You will see what I will do to him. Think, he thinks he can joke with every kind of woman he sees on the road. I don't understand how this concerns me. This dam is going to be beneficial to all. I think we should lend our support. I am not sure you understand the last article in that document I gave you. Rainbow oil plantation is about to be destroyed. But that is unacceptable. Why would they want to do a thing like that? Mm -hmm. Now you are beginning to understand me. That plantation is the only legacy your late brother left behind. People remember him because of that plantation. Today, the entire family is well known because of that same plantation. I want you to see it as war. That plantation must not be destroyed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, please, my sister. Tell me what happened. Come on. Look, nothing happened. All that happened was that I used what I have to get what I want. <laughs> sister. That is so valid, and I just proved it today that it will remain valid till the end of time. Are you saying that the plan worked? He did not just work. He practically promised. I mean, he gave me his words that that plantation is going nowhere. Oh! Hi! Oh my God! This is heartwarming. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. You mean the, the, the project has been cancelled? 
moved to Obiono. Tell me it's not true. Sister, look, I showed him raw pictures. I handled him like no woman has ever done. And then he went berserk with promises. <laughs> Sister, look, you have to really take me out. You have to properly congratulate me on this job well done. I mean, this is a $1 million job. My goodness, anything for you, my sister. Are you going to apologize to me? Or do you want me to teach you a lesson of your life? You cannot do anything. I know traffic rules and I know my rights and you cannot intimidate me. Will you shut those mandibles of just? Oh, I shut it up for you, you little brat. How dare you insult a lady old enough to be your mother? Or oh, don't you have elders where you come from? Yeah, right. You guys are allergic to insult, right? Then get into your car and zoom off. Madam, please, madam, please don't be offended. Let's just drive off instead of giving the devil a chance, please. Then get her to apologize to me. She ran into my car. Is she stupid? Me ran into your car. You rolled back and hit my car. And by traffic rules, you are at fault because there's something called a handbrake. Will you shut up? Can you prove that our car pulled back? You hit our car from behind and you must walk on this car. Don't be stupid. Hello? Yes, NNDP Road. Oh no, Avenue on Third Road. Let them come and pick up one brass here that is proving tough. I'm waiting, thank you. Don't you think this is getting out of hand? We have to leave here now, not so fast. Listen, I'm ready for whoever they are calling. And moreover, they just called me a brat and I'm going to prove to them that I'm not a brat. Will you shut that thing you call a mouth? Look, 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 look at this little punk. How old are you, sir? Twelve? Sister, let's just leave this little rat here because if, if I just touch you now, you will die. I have to teach her a lesson of her life. Huh. Otherwise, she will repeat it. If they well, don't train you in the house, I will help train you on the road. Huh. You don't know if they sent this one from wherever she came from. Look, look at this, this, this tech I have suffered, this don't, country. Don't there is worry. nothing somebody will not see. No, but she must walk on Let's leave this girl alone. Ernest, I hope you're not one of those people who believe His Excellency the Governor would do whatever I say. I didn't say so. Presently, you are the closest special assistant to the Governor. He cannot take any decision without putting you in the mood. You should know the problem. Uh, yes, uh, His Excellency did uh, inform me about the problem, but the question is how does it concern you? Uh, I am the Senior Special Assistant on Budget and Finance and the Senior Special Assistant on Security did advise the Governor not to go for the rally. Uh, His Excellency made his decision on that, so how does it concern my office? I know it doesn't concern you, but I'm sorry Mr. Robert. We are certain that you can convince His Excellency to attend the rally. There is no single threat to his life. You and I know that our enemies are at work. We need men like you, Mr. Robert. We need men like you to talk to the governor, to change his mind and attend the rally. Uh, well, Ernest, I'm not promising anything, but uh, I'll see what I can do. Okay? Oh, that's my daughter there. She's awesome. Yes, she is. You know, these young kids, you have to, you know, put them under the right umbrella, envelope them, and put them in the right channel so they don't digress. Yes, yes. Good afternoon. Uh, good, day. good afternoon. Good day. So, where did you go? I had this party at the PDDA. Yes. And I had this very horrible bus stop with this very arrogant woman on the street today. She hit my car, came down for her car and insisted I apologize to her. <laughs> That's very silly, Amara. Who is she? I don't know, someone on the street. Then did you apologize? Never. She called the officers and when they came and realized your daughter knows her rights, they asked her to go get her car fixed. And uh, all this happened and you did not even inform me. Lily, I'm an adult now, remember? I don't 
have to bother you about everything anymore. Well, you're my daughter, and as such, I can never ever say you're disturbing me. I was actually thinking you were going to be part of me this once for handling it myself. Of course, I'm proud of you, my love. Thank you, Dad. You have such a wonderful daughter. Yes, yes. Uh, my daughter is the most valuable asset I have. And my dear friend Ernest, I have decided to throw the biggest party in the state the very moment my daughter decides to marry the man of her dreams. And as such, I myself will not get married until my daughter gets married. <laughs> You're a good man. So, like I said, uh, Ernest, um, I'll see what I can do. Okay? Um, the governor has a list in here. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on the table and properly analyze the situation. Okay, bye. Uncle, you were sounding so worried, huh? and then I wonder what it was that we could not discuss on phone. Read this letter. Pay particular attention to the last article. Then you will know why I am worried. <laughs> Uncle, is this why you are worried? Of course. <laughs> Look, the monthly salary I get from the plantation helps me immensely. And I don't want anything to, to happen to that plantation. <laughs> Uncle, the best I can tell you is to relax. The plantation is not going to go. Look, I would like to know your plan. Your plan for it. Because, you see, the plantation remains the only thing that makes people respect our family. And I don't want that to go. Uncle, the plantation will not go. Ah. I have settled the matter. So relax. Mm. Everything is okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uncle. <laughs> Elders of Obiono must understand that this meeting is extremely important. Miriama River is our only source of water. It could be argued that we owe our existence to that river. And that is why it is necessary that we confront the wild daughters of late Mr. Otaka. That is to ask them why they ask government to look our way. Mazusta. Yes. Do you think it is necessary to engage lousy women in any argument? You call them wild women. That's what they are. Men that are men do not argue with women, let alone wild women. All right. If you are not comfortable with my suggestion, make yours um <clears throat> i think the best thing we can do is to apply for injunction in the high court because we need a perpetual court injunction to reframe the government from carrying out their plan come to think of it we have lived all our lives here in obiuno eh? So there's no way the government will wake up suddenly and say they are going to relocate us to another place. I see. Um, well, I would want counsel to see me as being stubborn. The truth is that I am not comfortable at all with the idea of injunction against government that will amount to being confrontational and we cannot silence government other towns that have vibrant uh, kings and kingdoms may succeed here in Ebenato we are not that lucky therefore you can succeed or win against government. Could you tell us exactly what you want us to do? Because the truth is that we cannot confront the wild daughters of a late Mr. Taka. Okay. 
Any other suggestion is okay by me. But to confront them, count me out. And you? The journey of life, the trials and strife, under the sun, the moon is the air. The travel of man's just the test of his life, cause there's a God that governs the world. He's a great lifesaver, and his plans. And nothing like man is the giver of the given, is the helper of the helpless, is the mighty and mighty provider. What's gonna be with me? Who is that man out there? Um, he, he has been standing there for close to three hours now. That's not the answer to my question. I said, who is he? Um, he said his name is Osondo. Oga's old friend. He said that he has a serious matter to discuss with Oga. And, and something like he, he came from the village. And I told him that Oga is not ready to see anybody now. But he insists and kept standing. I don't know how to ask him out. Yeah, it's a good day. But, um, you spent so much time at the bank. What happened? I'm sorry, Dad. It was the queue. The queue was much. I had to wait. You know me, I like to observe protocols. Oh, yeah. There's somebody at the gates. According to Ali, he's been waiting for almost three hours. Three hours? Mm hmm What did he tell me? <laughs> you know your gates, man. Of course, he wanted to exercise his powers. He made up his mind to keep him there as long as he wanted. Did you finally get to know the name of this person? Mm, um, he said he's an old friend from the village. And his name is Osondo, I guess. Osondo? I'm not sure, but I think so. In my house? No, outside the gates. Daddy? Daddy, is he that in the Ali? Ali! Now, why didn't you tell me I have a visitor? I... Will you go and open the gate? Saying something. Yes. Um, I have this feeling that Mazusta is not providing us with quality leadership that we need at this time of great temptation. Mm. What we will do is to pass a vote of no confidence on him and get him back. No, 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 no. That will amount to going to the extreme. And you know we cannot afford to go into that now. Then what do we do? You know, he favors confrontation. And we don't need confrontation now. Do you know what we are going to do? Uh, just go home and allow me to handle this. Eh? I will meet with Maze Usita in his house later tonight. And we can work out something. I understand he has a personal problem with Ogo. Ogo? The lady's leader. Mm. We will not allow him to use Elder's forum. 
to settle his personal scores with people. Mazis, you just go home and allow me to handle this my own way. Even the allegation that uh, he was the one who blew the fan God's marriage does not hold water. Yes, because the woman in question is not even a wife material. Eh? I can bet you that the man walked out on her simply because he found out that he was marrying the wrong woman. So like I have just said, you go home. Don't walk yourself up. Go home. Eh? Allow me to handle it. Okay? You still haven't told me how you managed to trace me. You see, I was going through the newspapers and I saw a congratulatory message for Eric Roberts. Yes. Then I look closely. I'm like, I know this man from somewhere. That is why I traced you here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, you're a perfect example of a true VIP because you're the best visitor I've had in this year. Uh, no. uh, I'm just so happy you remember the bond we shared. Of course. But, but of if course. I may ask you, um, how did you manage to warm yourself into the, the top of government so quickly? Well, my brother, um, if you ask me, uh, I will tell you sincerely I don't have explanations. However, when God decides to bless a man, he doesn't give explanations. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think differently at all. I think differently. You see, God forced them to pack you out of that village because he had prepared something better and wonderful for you. Mm? Our town is facing a, a very difficult situation right now and based on your authoritative position in government, it is only right for me to argue that uh, you, you, you help us solve the problems. Well, it depends on where you're calling my town because as far as I'm concerned, I am a citizen of this great nation and as such that your town is not my town and I wish not to discuss anything in that perspective, please. Yes. I am appealing to your conscience. Forgive and forget what happened. You now hold an enviable position in government and no matter what you do, you will help solve our problems. You are the son of the soil and you must help us, please. I totally disagree. I am not from Ibilato. They threw me out in the cold, left me to wander in the world without a single thing. They thought I would die and get forgotten, right? No, 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 no. Not at all, my friend. They threw you out for a purpose. Do you think you'd have met Mr. Roberts if you're still in Ebena? Do you think? The purpose was for you to deliver us from the problems you are facing. Well, I am sorry I will not do a single thing for people. Why? Tell me why. Why? Are you punishing the people of Ebenato because of the sins of other people? Huh? Was it men and women who packed you out? No! It was your uncle and your aunties who executed that plan. So do not punish the people of Ebenato because of the sins of your immediate family. Well, awesome. The Bernardo doesn't even exist in my archive of history. Excuse me. Yesterday I was with um, Chief Abbasi. And he told me that he was waiting for the governor to sign just the particular documents for him. But once that was done, he mobilized the site. Is he sure that governor is going to sign the said document? I just want to see work started at Midoma River. That is the easiest way to show me that the plantation is safe. Sister, I've told you to relax. Chief Abbas is not one we should doubt. Besides, he told me he was not resting and I really don't have any cause to doubt him. What is it? I don't know why your uncle has been flashing me since morning. This is the very sixth time he's flashing me only today. Sister, these people do not know how to call. Eh? All they do is flashy, 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 or better still, thank God for midnight calls. You better call him back home. Oh. 
Hello? What is the matter, Uncle? I expected you to have used your influence with the government to point their searchlight somewhere else. But that's what we just succeeded in doing. The plantation is no longer going to be destroyed. As I'm talking to you now, the contractor is waiting for the governor to sign just one paper and they mobilize all the equipment to Mirama River. That is exactly what we don't want. We don't want the bulldozers anywhere near the river. No. You have to convince, you have to get your, your, your influential people to go back to the government and tell them that we don't want it there. Because if we dredge that river, the entire town. Will... Why are you talking like this, Uncle? Eh? I thought our primary aim was to safeguard the plantation, which we have succeeded in doing. The world that takes off from the ground and lands on an anthill is still on the ground. If that river is dredged, the entire town will be flooded. The plantation will be destroyed. And our town will be no more. No, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. We want you to use your influence to get the government to, to go somewhere else. Out of our town. That is going to be very difficult, Uncle. Government is already committed to this project. Getting them now to, to, to change the idea will be very difficult. I don't know how to do it. You get all your influential people to compel the government to go and look for what for their for the, for the town somewhere else and leave us alone. Wait, sister, what is it? What did he say? Uh, that uh, they don't want the project at uh, Miramar River. What, what do they want from us now? Is it the plantation? They don't want the project at all at all. The government should take the project to somewhere else. And we should use our government connection to get government to change uh, and shove its idea. An ask of Mr. Eric Roberts. He's very popular. He's the senior special advisor to the governor on finance and budget. He is very influential and he is the man going to help us solve our problem. The man you mentioned may be very popular at the government house, but we don't know him and we don't know how he's going to help us. He is going to help us solve the problem because he is a son of the soil. Look, my young man, you are not serious. Let me tell you, Ebenato as a town does not have anybody in government. Lamentably, that's why we are being marginalized. And that's why, fortunately, government is going to consider us for the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, how could you say that a man who bears Robert as his surname is from uh, Ebenato? Uh, let us uh, look for another solution. What Okpak has said is true. That man you are talking about, we don't know him. Have you seen this man? Look at him very well. He is Mr. Eric Roberts. The same as Mr. Eric Otaka. The son of the late brother vanished from this village. Hey! This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Hey! Are you trying to tell me that Eric later succeeded in life? Yes. See? I've been to his house a couple of times and trust me, the man is made. He is made. He, he sometimes chats with the governor on the phone and they, they talk like they're friends. He is the man going to help us solve the problem. That is your late brother's son. I am now beginning to retrace the facial contour of the family. But the young man only looks bloated because money has started uh, flowing in. And let's take a closer look at it. 
Some people are here to see you. Daddy, they came with a cow. I've never seen anything like that before. Anyway, they are at the living room. I asked them to wait that you're coming. A cow? Mm -hmm. What's up? What's the meaning of this? Why would you bring elders of Ebenator to come and kneel before me? Please, 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 stand up, please. Please, Eric. We realize it was useless without you. They asked me to bring them, and that is why we're here. Please, stand up. I'm surprised you have the guts to step into my home. Please forgive me. Please. I regret everything. Everything that I did. Ever since I was forced to banish you from Ibn Atom. Nothing, nothing has been the same. I am convinced Obasi is punishing me for what I did to you. I am asking for your forgiveness. Please, forgive me. Forgive me. And extend your hand of friendship to us again. Please, we, we, we cannot do anything without you. Please. You're sounding kind of weird. What are you saying? Why, why, why? The experts we engaged to conduct topographic study of Ebenato, that's your town. They came out with the conclusion that the Miriamma River area is not ideal for our project. Look, this is confusing, okay? If, if there's something you have to say, just say it, because I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. What I am saying is that we are not going to mobilize men and machines to Miriamma River area. We are going back to our original plan. Wait, what original plan are you talking about? You see, this man sitting here, I know how government works. I am a registered government contractor, licensed, both with the federal and the state government. What I am going to do is that I am going to get government to pay you serious Emphasis is on the word serious. Pay you serious compensation. But the truth is that that plantation must be destroyed. Just tell me. Tell me this is a joke. Tell me you're not serious. This is one big joke, okay? I am very serious. I am telling you the conclusion of experts. Listen, Esther. Dams must be cited on site that will not constitute risk in the long run. Miriamma River area is not that side. The, the place where your plantation is hosted, or the place hosting your plantation is the place, and we are going back there. Can't you just understand? No, just don't stand here. What, the, what are you talking? What are you blabbing about? Are you trying to tell me that all that time we spent together was nothing but a fluke? How can you stand here and talk to me about destroying the plantation? Esther, I am telling you the science of the book. Oh, please, damn you and the bloody to put rubbish. Really? Do you think you're going to book up with this? Then you have another thing coming. Because, man, you will regret this. I promise you, you son of a bitch. Really? I don't even know why you're shouting. The truth is that I am not going to jeopardize my company. 
because I am doing favor to the woman. Who do you think you are? My company is bigger than whoever you think you represent. Idiot. I will not pay you back for the wickedness you unleashed on me. God is the ultimate judge. I leave everything in his hands. However, I must say that your visit is a very remarkable one because it has afforded my daughter the opportunity of knowing where she truly comes from, where her roots are from. My daughter knows she's from Ebenato, and that much I owe to all of you here. Oh, my son, I must confess we are very, very happy for you. The more you talk, the more we see your father, Otaka, in retrospect, talking. Blood is wonderful, and it does not lie. Oh, how I wish your father, Otaka, is here with us today. Well, coming to your request that I use my present position in government to dissuade it from continuing the Nebinato, I pledge to do so. Thank you, my son. Um, I have always known that uh, you will become a, a great man. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I will make the presentation to the governor, His Excellency. But first, you must agree to my terms and conditions. And what are the terms and conditions? Very well. As there is no king presently in Ebenato, I am going to be the king of Ebenato. And as such, no decision shall be made henceforth in Ebenato without my input. Secondly, the elders of Ebenato must issue a statement saying that I will remain the owner of the palm plantation my father left me before he died. These are my simple terms and conditions, if you agree to them. We will then hold hand to the Binato Autonomous Community. I will give you a few moments to ponder and deliberate on my terms and conditions. <clears throat> Excuse me, others. <clears throat> we have all heard what he said. The question now is, how do we carry a man with broken waist bone? Oh. Hmm. You're right. But don't they also say that men do not argue with masquerades? Eric has just not proven to be a masquerade, but a very big masquerade as such. Let us not argue with him. Let us accept his terms and condition. Let us make him our king, because he is in the heart of government. And trust me, we will not regret this decision. He is going to bring development to our community. It's not going to be easy. Yes, it's going to be tough, but we don't have any other option. Listen, other towns are making well-connected men their kings, so we are left with no other option. It's your sita. No. Yeah, it has become like Sese Fly pitching on this scrotum. If you hit it hard, you wound yourself. It is true. If you pamper it, it will suck, suck your blood, blood and give you disease. But our people say that any man who is given a knock by his son is simply knocked by his genitalia. Exactly. However, our people equally say that uh, it is more profitable to give sacrifice to a local deity than the one in the forest. Mm -hmm. That is how I'm looking at it. What do you think? Fanny. I knew Fanny I was from Ebenata. Daddy. 
You should have told me. I'm sorry, my dear. I was waiting for the right time. I'm sorry. I guess they must be ready for us now. Yes, elders. So, uh, so, what's his name? Yes, uh, elders. Uh, what is your decision? You are welcome. Welcome. Now. Um, we are not going to waste your time. After conferring amongst ourselves, we have decided to inform you that we accept your terms and conditions. Come and save us from destruction and possible annihilation. Mm. After all, you are one of us. Whatever thing that happens to the eye affects the nose. Bam. We have agreed to accept you as our king. And in the same vein, we pledge to restore to you whatever thing it is that has been taken away from you. Correct. Please, our son. A child does not cry this much and remain ignored by his parents. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ironically, we are now your children and you our parents. Please, see it as it is so Taka, your father that is pleading to you. Sister, what do you mean? I don't understand. The stupid plan did not work out. The bastard, that ape, used Esther thoroughly and finally dumped her. Hey! You're confusing me more and more. That useless Sifabasa called Esther and told her that they are still going ahead with their plan to destroy the plantation. Hey! Are you really serious? What are we going to do? That plantation is the reason why they respect us in Ebenato. And if it is destroyed, then we are destroyed. Sister, are you not seeing the reason why I insist that you must always listen to me? The idea of sending Esther to seduce that contractor is deficit and silly. But you refuse to listen to me. Now he has used Esther and we are back to square zero. No, we are not back to square zero. They're only challenging our brains. And we must brace up to the challenges. This is the time for us to show them the wildness in us. They will be calling us wild daughters of Otaka. We have to show them the beginning and the ending of wildness. I am sorry, Mr. Rapport, but I am not getting you at all. You work for government. Yes. And I want to believe that you know how important this project is for the government. Why are you asking me to discontinue? Chief Abbasi, I am asking you to discontinue this project because it will affect some people. I mean, it will impact negatively on the people of Ebenato and of course uh, affects the credibility of government, which is one thing I don't want to happen. My company engaged the services of experts in the science of topography, and they came up with the conclusion that Miriam River area is not ideal for the project. And based on their recommendations, we are about to mobilize men and machines to our originally approved site. Chief, I came here to tell you that you cannot continue. Reason why it will affect the people of Ibelato. I don't want the government having enemies from anywhere. You see, Mr. Robert, I have to ask you to open up to me. What exactly is your interest in this matter? You tell me. You know I work for government. 
And I said it already. I want the government to be popular. Your continuation of your projects will make the government unpopular in the eyes of the people, which is one thing I want to avoid. So now you know where my interest lies. Look, I am telling you the decision of the elders of Ibn Atok, and you must be prepared to abide by them. You are talking nonsense, arrant nonsense. That plantation belonged to my father, and we had the right to decide its fate. Tell Look, him. my brother gave Eric that plantation before he died. Oh, oh yes. And he is the son of the family. And so will have the, 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 the decision. He makes the decision on what happens to everything that my late brother left. So you better go back to your husband. Realizing that women of Ibinata do not, do not make decisions in their maiden families. You old man, you dare open your mouth to call Eric my father's son? You dare go back in your family. Look. How dare you? My dare you. late brother accepted him as a son. And he too stood by his father How? until he died. He is a noble son of this family. He is now a big man in government. And we have now invited him to come and become the paramount king of Ibidato. Hey! Eh? Do you remember the popular Eric Roberts? I'm sure you, 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 I'm sure you do. The senior special assistant to the governor on finance and, and, and budget. That is the same Eric that you and I connived to get rid of in this kingdom on that faithful night so many years ago. I have already apologized to him. Hey! He is coming here to rule. So you better surrender to his supremacy or you will be crushed. No! I will crush him! He will crush him! I will crush him! What? He will crush him! the daddy that I call you, also my best friend. What is it? Say, let's solve it together. It won't be possible anymore for the governor to discontinue the damn project. <laughs> but you've not discussed it with him yet, so why do you think it's impossible? Well, uh, technically, I discussed it with Her Excellency, the First Lady, and she advised I shouldn't even mention it to the Governor. She said if I should try to dissuade the Governor from continuing the project, I will be out of favor. I will be seen as a saboteur and traitor, and these are things that don't want to happen to me. That is so. What are you going to do? This is the only opportunity you have to be king. Well, that is where I'm so confused. I mean, I cannot disappoint my people, and at the same time, I cannot dissuade the governor from continuing a project that is dead to his heart. I'm confused, really. I am. I want my daddy to be king. Okay, I have an idea. Why don't you go to the monastery, and the monk will help you pray? I strongly believe there's nothing impossible with God. They're supposed to be king. Sister Go, how did you come about the name Robert? How do I know? Do you know that it was after my meeting with Uncle Ndulwe that I now started thinking? 
I now compared the Eric rejected and the Eric Robert. I was stunned to realize they are the same. <laughs> this is really complicated. What do we do now? I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> Chief Habasi is not our problem now. This Eric is now our problem. And we must find out what to do. The elders are already planning to make him a king. And we must not allow that to happen. So shouldn't we call assassins to just kill him? Hmm? No, 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 Kiro. It has not come to that yet, oh. Uh, let's just sleep over it and think. We'll meet tomorrow morning and figure out our next plan of action. Kill. No. But let, let me just look at this paper, please. I don't think I ever want to see that. We are going to pray for you for four days. And I can tell you authoritatively that the governor will stop the program if you ask him to do so. See, we are serving a living God. And there is nothing impossible for him to do. And I ask you, if the Lord answers our prayers in four days, and the governor orders a stoppage of the project, and you become the king in your land, what shall you give to God in return? <clears throat> well, um, I am a man of few words. If it happens the way you've just mentioned, I will give to the Lord anything he asks of me. Realize we are before the blessed sacrament. Make a vow unto the Lord and be careful what you make. This is an issue very close and dear to my heart. If the governor discontinues this project and I'm finally confirmed King of Ibinato, I, Eric Roberts, will give to the Lord Anything he does ask of me that is within my power to give. May it be unto you like you have said. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, feed heart of the faithful and rekindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Father, King of glory. Madam, Madam, there are, there are visitors at the gate. Mm -hmm. So, who do they want to see? Mm, they said they want to see Oga. But I told them Oga is not around. So, they want to see you. Why do they want to see me? Do they know me? I don't know. I don't know. Not exactly. I told them you are the one in the house. So they want to see you. They are three in number. And they said they are our guest sisters. Yeah. My father told me he had three sisters. See them here. See them. This one is indeed a stage. Are you the ones that called yourself my father's sisters? We have come to warn him. Eric Robert, or whatever he calls himself, is a bastard. Our father did not pay a kobo as bride price for his mother. So there's no way he can call himself our brother. It's rather unfortunate that the three of you are perpetually wallowing in abject ignorance. How can you call a man that attended his father's burial a bastard? Or oh, are you not learned? Sister, don't you recognize this point, brat? 
She was the ill mannered girl that ran into our car the other day. Oh, that's true. Oh, so you are Eric's daughter, eh? Ha! Huh. Listen to me. I am going to deal with both you and your father. Both of you. I will deal with you. We are used to threats. But sincerely, I think I should advise you. You don't really need to threaten us because we are members of one family. Never! That is why he answered Eric Roberts as his son. He is not our brother. Warn him! Tell him to stay away from Rainbow Palm Plantation. It is not his own. We own it. And there's no way he can ever take it. So warn him. Warn him or warn him. We are willing to forgive you for the past and unite as one again. My father is a very, very fulfilled man. And you should count yourselves lucky that he's willing to accept you as sisters. Think about it. Let's go, let's get out of here. You think you are being very silly? Seriously? I mean, what's there? Let's just go and surrender ourselves to our brother. What are you talking about? Will you shut up your mouth? Surrender to who? Bastard. He's not a bastard, sister. He's not. He's our brother. Sister, Papa used to call him his son. Remember now, during the funeral, he was there all through Papa's funeral. You couldn't be a bastard, sister. You know, it's not nice. Sister, I don't understand you. You mean we should submit ourselves to Ari? He's well connected. Sister, do you know what it means to be the senior assistant to the governor on finance and budget? Sister, he's loaded. That young man is loaded. He has what it takes to take care of all of our problems. All we just need to do is just to acknowledge him. Thunder fire you there. Thunder fire you there. Look at you. That's why you, sh you, you threw yourself to, to Jibawati. Oh. And he just finished you and got you and made away with you. Uh -huh. Select. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Maybe we start to defend ourselves. So I'm so Stop to the fight of us if you do and so you become your life. Make this stop to the fight while I lie. If you do and so you become your life. Make you stop to the fight while I lie. If you do and so you become your life. Ah, Mazi. Uh, I don't think Eric is serious at all. Look at all the promises he's made. None fulfilled. None. Actually, I called his house only yesterday. He wasn't in, but I spoke to his daughter, who assured me that her father is working. And I believe her. Oh, her, his daughter, yes. or Eric himself. Eric has the key to all the problems. Look, I think we should give Eric the benefit of doubt. The young man works for government. And you know government has a process. Now, he has given us his word, and I believe him. Supposing these people mobilize to sight without our seeing Eric, what happens? Well, we'll go over to him. I have come to identify with your father. He is my brother. My father called him his son. It is only wickedness that makes my sisters call him a bastard. He is not a bastard. I want to meet with him and ask him for forgiveness. People with your kind of heart are short in supply. My father has gone to the monastery to pray for the progress of Ebenezer. He's coming back tomorrow. And I can tell you he'll be more than delighted to know you came back to him. I was wondering, um, can I stay, you know, can I just stay here, wait for him to return? I really do need to see him. It's your brother's house, it's your house. You can stay as long as you want to. Okay. Thank you. Come here. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank you, Auntie Esther. 
Thank you for coming back to fill up the love in my father's life. It's going to be all right. Okay? Yeah. I'm beginning to feel frightened with your visits. What is it this night? Madam, the contractor has sent nothing less than 40 caterpillars and bulldozers. They are planning to fell all the palms and I came to know if you are aware. You mean the packed caterpillars near the plantation? Not near, ma'am. The trucks are discharging all the bulldozers right inside the plantation and I was told that they are waiting for the governor's consent in which they will fell all the palms and clear the plantation. Why is this happening now? Madam, if there is a way you can get to them to wait for the next two months, I believe it will be enough time for us to harvest the west end of the plantation that is due then. We are talking about 60 million Naira. I sent for you based on what my wife told me. I understand you complained about the Benata Dam project. What's the problem, Eric? Um, Your Excellency, the popularity of government is very paramount to me. And um, the noble dam project, which you're about implementing in Ebenato and its surrounding communities is about to undermine government's popularity. You are not serious, are you? Your Excellency, I cannot come before you and tell you what is not real. The people of Ebenato are uncomfortable. They are refusing to understand the importance of the dam project and are making wild statements. As we are making plans to ensure second term in office, I think you should discontinue this uh, damn project so that we can have a massive turnout of votes from Ibarato like we had during the first election. I see. I see. But is that what you cannot tell me directly? I mean, you are a key member of this government and uh, any complaints you have should be communicated to me directly. I do appreciate your confidence in me, Your Excellency. Uh, we are working hard and trying to make sure that you have a landslide victory in the coming elections. And anything that will undermine our hard work and efforts should be readdressed immediately, Your Excellency. All right, and that is what I'm doing presently. I hereby cancel the Ebenato Dam project. Issue a statement in that regard. Um, this is an executive fiat and I want it implemented without any delays, okay? Nothing, right. Are you now convinced we're working together? Uh, Your Excellency, I must say I'm very overwhelmed and I thank you for trusting my judgment. Of course, as you know, my victory is your victory and like I've always told you guys, and therefore, every advice you have, um, I listen to. Thanks for coming to tell me this. But the celebration is not commensurate with the emancipation that came our way. My son, we welcome you. Your sister, Esther, our daughter, we welcome you. Elders, 
Today is indeed a great day. I told you. Let us be patient. This son of the soil, I told you he will come, and he has come. Yes. Ibn Athar will never be the same again. Yeah. Uh, now let us toast the good help of our son to, to welcome him and wish him much, much success. to enjoy very good health. Yes. Yes. Uh, elders, people of Ebenato here present, I greet you. This victory belongs to God. And he alone is worthy of all our praises. Ibn Atta, as we speak, is registered in the heart of the government. And very soon, we shall see unprecedented presence of the government in this land. Oh. <laughs> I will destroy my father's house, what? demolish it, and build a palace where we shall host His Excellency the Governor <laughs> during my coronation. This is not a time for long speeches. But all the same, I greet you. Sister, Esther has betrayed us. She has run after Eric. And you know the implication of that. She's just going to reveal all our secrets to him. I'm not even bothered with that. Esther has always been a maniac and I don't want to be bothered with whatever she does. All my problem now is the partition. How are we going to hold on to it? The elders are already sitting to this place, so what are we going to do? Let's bribe the elders and they'll change their camps towards us. Right. How much do we have? How much do we have to outbribe a whole senior advisor to the governor? He has a lot of money to throw about. In that case, let's revert to assassin. Let's get the boys. Pay them some good money. They'll just turn him into a corpse. And a corpse cannot give you an eye headache anymore. That's just what I think. Good morning, brother. I may the peace of the Lord be with you. We are sisters of divine love. We run an orphanage in Yenugoku. We have 26 motherless babies. That we cater for every day. So we are here as sisters to plead that as a friend and a brother, you should help us so that we could cater for these children. That's what I think. Sanchez. Sanchez. Alright, I can take this. Brother. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever this money is coming from, God will always continue to bless and bring more for you. Yay. Thank you so much. Sisters. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. Sir, good morning, sir. The priest has come to see you. A priest. Or a letter. Okay. Oh, 
You see, I came in connection with the vow you made. Do we discuss it or do I go back to the monastery and wait for you? Um, um, Father, you can do whatever you choose. Uh, but you see, um, I'm disturbed because I had this particular trance which I don't understand. Tell me about it. Well, um, I saw my daughter uh, in the midst of uh, three reverend sisters. Uh, they called themselves um, Sisters of Divine Love. And they told a man they were running an orphanage. But what I find disturbing is that uh, they were begging for arms. Now, why would my daughter be begging for arms when I have several millions stashed in various accounts in different banks? The Lord is not interested in your silver and gold. So, um, what does he want? Uh, yes, I made a vow before the blessed sacraments that I'll give God anything he wants, you know, if the governor grants my request. As faithful as he is, he has done his own part. So you tell me, how much do you want? So I'll sign the check immediately. You see, what you saw was not an ordinary trance. It was a revolution. The Lord wants your daughter to walk in his vineyard. Um, I don't understand. Your daughter would have to enter the convent and be trained to become a reverend sister. After which, she will continue with the job you saw in the revolution. Look, um, 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 father, please. Uh, uh, this is going to be too tough for me, please. You see, uh, uh, um, you, you can ask me any amount of money. I can give any amount of money you want. Okay, I'll, I'll just sign the check and give to you, but please, just, just spare my daughter out of this, please. please. You see, my daughter is still a virgin, and I'm waiting for the day I'll deliver her to her husband. So please, please. Like I told you initially, the Lord is not interested in your money. Since your daughter is a virgin, it makes it a whole lot easier. So you have to prepare her and hand her over unto the Lord as a virgin. Remember, you made a vow before the Blessed Sacrament. And I would advise you keep to your vow. I will have to go now. Let me pray for you. Oh. It's because of this cheap contraption that you betrayed your sisters. Hmm? Yes, sir. Hmm. Why are you always in the habit of putting yourself at men? Why? He is our brother and has used his good offices to make us royalty. Sister, please, let's just cease all this unnecessary hostility and embrace him. He bought me this car. I'm sure he can buy you much better ones. And what makes you think that we can buy our own cars? Are these not cars? For your own information, little sister, his mother killed our mother. For Christ's sake, why must you camp with a murderer? Listen, sister, seriously, there is nothing both of you will say or do that will make me change my mind. It took me time, it took me a long time to realize what a noble brother I had. And now that I have found him, now that I have gotten him to accept me as his own sister, I am not going to turn my back on him. No, I won't. Never. Wait a minute. Esther, are you telling me to my face that you value Eric more than your own blood sisters from the same way? Eric does not even see us like that. He sees all of us as one. Even his daughter is so excited at the fact that she has wonderful aunties. Sister, we need them just as much as they need us. Shut up. 
Shut that your dirty mouth up. No, I don't need them. They are not my class. And they will never be. You know what? If you leave here today, don't ever come back. <laughs> Sister. Sister, you people are making a very big mistake, oh. You're turning your backs on, on, on somebody who has the ears of the governor that will soon be crowned king of our land. I've told you, you people are making a mistake. Uh -huh. okay. You're such a Thank you. God bless you. Daddy, what's going on? You've been crying for the past two days. What's happening here? My dear, it's very difficult for me to say. What is difficult? You've, you've always confided in me since I was a little girl. Why can't you talk to me now? I made a vow to God. What vow? I went to the monastery. Knelt down before the blessed sacrament. And I told God that I'll give him whatever he asks of me. If he could make the governor listen to me and do what I ask of his excellency. Is that why you've been crying? <sighs> you see, the monk doesn't even want money. But you see, he told me God doesn't even want my silver or gold. So what does he want? <sighs> it doesn't have to do with the book, my dear. I even saw it in a revelation myself. And I know the hand of God is in this. That is spirit. want to take away the most valuable assets I have in this world and it pains me so deeply. What is it? My dear, God wants you to walk in his vineyard. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I don't understand. My dear, God wants you to work for him. He wants you to give away all your riches. And also you'll be ordained a member of the Sisters of Divine Love, where you shall care for orphans and the less privileged. And... And you... You truly really want me to do that? Is, is that what you want? My dear... God... says yes. Who are we to say no? Leave me alone! in my faith. I will not disappoint. Just give me some more time. It's okay. You can take your time. It's okay. Well, sisters. Yes, Father. Let us give them some time to talk in private. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Okay. Daddy. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Dad, why don't you want to remarry? Look, I know you need a new wife, and I would not have any problem with you remarrying. 
Oh, well, my dear, um, I will not get married until you have decided to get married. Uh, yes, your father is waiting for the man you would choose to be your future husband. And trust me when I say that I'll throw you the best wedding in the States ever. Yes, and I'll ensure that you and your husband will not lack for the rest of your lives. You see, you're God's gift to me on earth and um, I'm prepared to lay down my life for you. <laughs> oh, Daddy, that's so sweet. You're the best daddy in the world. And you're the best daughter in the world. And I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Daddy, why is this happening? My dear. It pains me that we're being separated. But we're nothing without the Lord. My dreams are cut off. I made a vow to God. We should not give God what costs us nothing. Please do this because of that vow I made to God. Please, my child. Please. Be mindful, life. 